Hello, N4HNH here. I'm not sure I've covered this in a past video, um, and even though you're looking right now at the Yaesu FTDX 5000 MP, what I want to show you uh, can be done with any radio. I know I've, I've shot a video about carrier insertion point, um, and you can go back and watch that one, and it, it, it has a little bit to do with what I'm about to show you, but what I want to get into is you know, one of the things that we can do to get, knock down noise is narrow our bandwidth, right? But also with uh, with newer radios, when you narrow the bandwidth, you also, you know, tend to cut the, well, you're cutting the high end and you're cutting the low, low end, the high frequencies and the low frequencies from the audio. But, you know, cutting the highs can help you combat noise, also help you combat QR Mary. So I want to show you, uh, this is just a simple little thing that you can do to restore some some depth to the audio while still being able to narrow your bandwidth and uh, combat some QR Mary or some noise. So let me tune in. There's a station uh, here on 14.325. So, uh, this happens to be that gentleman that's always helping people with their audio. Um, by the way, notice how quiet that noise floor is. Okay, well, on the 5000, I've got the Mew Tuner enabled and IP01. So, let me undo all that. Just so you can see how I address the noise floor. I mean, the 20 meter band probably don't need a preamp. So, I'm going to IP01. And you know me, if you've been on my channel very long, I work my noise floor from the front end of the receiver, beginning with IPO, and if I need to, attenuation, maybe even RF gain. But in this case, look, I've got a noise floor, of, you know, barely yeah, wiggling off zero. Right. Yeah, but I can turn on the yeah, mute tuner, and the mute tuner has enough insertion back. loss that it acts like an attenuator. And but hey, you know, why not do that if I need to attenuate because the mu tuner narrows the front end of the receiver, it's a pre selector that's a variable. And uh, so hey, why not? You know, so I will use the IPO, then the mu tuner, then an attenuator if I need to. But that's not even what the video is about. I just wanted you to understand why the noise floor is so low. Okay, but here's what I wanted you to see. All right, so the default for the this radio, the FTDX 5000 uh, MP yeah, in this case, good, is a bandwidth of 2.4 if I don't have this button pressed, 2.4 kilohertz receive bandwidth. So I'm going to press it, and then you'll see that it's uh, showing 2.7, 2.4. There we go. Now, if I put it on 2.4, that's the same as turning the button off, okay? And again, what I'm showing you applies to any radio out there that has the ability for you to do a... Uh, set the bandwidth with your DSP and also, you know, shift. So what I'm going to do, let me let you listen to him. Okay, so there he is at 2.8K. I don't hardly ever listen at 2.8K. In fact, I don't because I like, I like the better selectivity at the narrower uh, settings. I do tend to be somewhere between 2.1 and 2.4. 2.25 is a nice... A happy medium okay now when he comes back i'm gonna thin yeah, it out it even. Sounded a lot better on your, on your box. all right listen to that 1.95 now i'm gonna go to shift let me put it back on zero yeah a lot of people overlook uh, some of your watch. previous radios just how good they really were I mean, boy, those people were really Now, look at this. It, I'm listening at 1.95K, but yet he's got full-bodied audio. Really so I'm using my shift. To make if you look at the graphic here, it shows you. See, see, that's my band pass, and I'm just moving it to where I'm emphasizing the lower frequencies as opposed to the higher frequencies. See, I can go this way and thin it out. So what is that doing for me? I'm still able to have full, rich, deep audio, but at the same time, I'm listening with a narrower bandwidth. Therefore, I'm also knocking out some of that noise that is 
typically coming in on the higher frequencies. So you can do that with any radio. Just use your bandwidth. Now I will, like I said, I'm typically listening with a bandwidth of anywhere from 2.1 to 2.4, and like I said, 2.25 is a is a good happy medium. So, you know, if you if you watch my power spectral density video where I get into you know how to optimize your your power output, um, well, that also applies on the receive side. So, for example, if the person you're listening to, if you know that they're transmitting, say at 2.4 K uh, wide, which is what I typically like to transmit at, then, you know, you may as well not listen at 2.5 or 2.6 or any more. That's wasted and it's just bringing in more noise on your receive. I may even go down to 2.1 or 2.25 on the person that's transmitting with a 2.4 kilohertz uh, wide transmit bandwidth. So, two controls there that are really, really work a lot of magic using your bandwidth to narrow the overall band pass and then using your shift to decide whether you want to emphasize highs or emphasize lows. Now you can use that, for example, if somebody's coming in and they got a lot of, a lot of bass in their audio and they're not pleasant to listen to, but you want to have a QSO with them, just do the same thing. Thin it out here with the bandwidth. Maybe in that case, you might even want to go down to like a 1.8 or so, then use the shift and go positive, And that will take all that low end out of their voice and help them sound a little bit you know, uh, more pleasant. The opposite is true too. If somebody doesn't have enough low end, then you can, um, you know, you can narrow it the same way, but you just decide to go to negative on your shift. And that will, you know, think of it this is it's kind of superficially adding low end because what it's really doing is de-emphasizing the high frequencies in their, in their audio. Okay, I hope someone found the tip helpful and informative. I do appreciate you guys who, uh, who faithfully support me each month, the uh, Patreon supporters, and uh, thank you so much for that. And if you happen to like this type of content and you want me to keep uh, bringing these types of tips, uh, please consider becoming a Patreon supporter of the channel. You can do that by going to www.patreon.com forward slash N4HNH patreon.com forward slash n4 h and h and if you would like the video that helps us with youtube um so that the uh the channel is a little bit more visible to others who might uh, be looking for tips and of course if you do uh like the video consider subscribing to the channel that helps us as well and you can click the bell and be notified when i upload the next video hey thanks for watching in 73 from n4 h and h